Lithium-ion batteries are actually the key element for the successful decarbonization of our mobility system. Today, they allow long distance travel, they use less energy than an internal combustion engine, and they don't emit greenhouse gases if supplied by electricity from new renewable energy sources. But the production of lithium-ion batteries today is not sustainable and relies on critical materials as well as sources. Within the InnoSwiss flagship project Secobot, we try to optimize each phase in the life of an automotive battery. This with a special focus on transdisciplinary innovation. That means that we are developing aging models to extend the life in the, of the battery in the car, so first life extension, also to determine the remaining value of the battery when you sell it as a second-hand car. The same aging models will be used actually to see if the battery can be used as an energy storage in the electricity grid. When we are looking at innovations in demanufacturing, meaning the disassembly of the battery at the end of life before recycling, we will take this knowledge and introduce it at the production of the battery so that the battery is actually made to be demanufactured and also to be repaired. Batteries from electric mobility, they contain a lot of valuable material such as lithium, cobalt, graphite or nickel, but also other materials in high volumes, for example, aluminium or copper or electronics, which we want to keep in a circular economy. And the separation is a very important part to do before we go into the actual um, direct recycling process. We have mainly um, uh, two reasons why we want to disassemble the, the batteries with robot. First, it's labor intense and time consuming. And second, it's dangerous for the people. So we develop, therefore, what we call a digital twin or an avatar in a photorealistic environment in which we can then train the robot to do the task before we actually train it on the real robot. Here at Keyboards, we are taking out the cell apart. This means we are open the cells and we are taking out the main components as anode, the cathode, the separator. And after this step, we are taking or detaching the active material. At the end, we receive NMC, uh, some graphite, some copper and some aluminium. And then we provide this slurry to EMPA and they will make some regeneration, purification and analyze of the active material. The different thermal and chemical experimental steps involved in our direct recycling process are designed to first remove the unwanted impurities and second to um, regenerate the material without decomposing them into the individual elements. So the idea of this direct recycling process is that all of these steps should be simple and should involve minimal energy consumption and use of chemicals. Uh, what we see is that the topic of a circular economy model for lithium-ion batteries is extremely important in the future. And what Circobot does is to bring this into a Swiss perspective. Our approach is actually to adapt the circular model to the Swiss market and its unique uh, requirements, but also taking into account naturally what's happened on the international area.